later. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Loud Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian, out of Oklahoma City. We have a super packed house tonight. We are hanging out with the band Weekend Picnic. What is going on, guys? What's up? Not much. And we got hey. Sam and Ava. We got the whole cast for the Loud Spot here as well. And I do want to apologize in advance. We might get a little glitchy tonight. I think there's something in that uh, Minneapolis uh, air that's making you guys glitchy. Confirmed. <laughs> did you just uh, did you just offend a whole city? Right now, yeah, a whole. City. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, you did. Did. Great. Awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, Minnesota, and uh, especially St. Paul, uh, St. Paul area. Um, we love you. Don't listen to this ass or this ass clown over here. I think I've offended almost every city, <laughs> you know, like off the seas of the United States. Okay, so Aaron, since you're not as glitchy, I do want to ask you. You guys started the band in 2019, is that correct? Aaron. Yep. Yep. Uh, Patrick <laughs> and I joined, uh, a little later. Um, am I still glitching out? No, 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 you're, you're not. It just it, there was a delay there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so Patrick and I joined at the end of 2019. Um, ben started up the band um, at the beginning of 2019. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of joined towards the end of the year. A um, little uh, lineup change and been uh, going at it ever since. Hey, hey, Ben, uh, when when Aaron joined, did you uh, rethink that whole idea of like, oh, why did I do that? Is, is that still, what it is? I still rethink it every day. Oh, okay, <laughs> every day? All right. Just wanted to make sure. Dude, I, I do oh, that whatever, say, right? man. <laughs> <laughs> right, before, right, right before we actually went live, I, I forgot I didn't have my headphones on, so I went to go pull the cord up really fast, and the cord went smack, hit me right in the eye. You know, I can't see out of my left eye. For doing that, so anyway, you can't you can't even see out of your left eye on a normal day. You're like, <laughs> yeah, no, you, I'm always, yeah, no, I'm always, I'm always that's why I, I call you Popeye every day. Hey, Popeye, how you doing? And you're like, <laughs> so I do want to say when I saw the weekend picnic was gonna be on. First thing I thought in my head, I was kind of like, oh, they're probably like pop punk a little bit, not pop punk at all. But you guys do have a very original sound, and I listened to some of your a lot of different songs that you had out. Like the Christmas song was really cool, the Mariah Carey cover. Um, and then Suffer the Silence. And that song kind of has a real melodic hardcore, also a little bit of metal in there. But then when I was reading your bio, you also have other influences with some of your other songs like punk, a little bit of pop. Um, so tell us about your style of music and why it's so different and where all these different genres come from. I'll take that one. Uh... I think a lot of the writing process stems from like all the different influences and just things that get caught in your head. Um, mm -hmm. so you get those really sometimes fast riffs from punk and sometimes just heavy sludgy riffs from rock or metal or or whatever. And as long as it sounds cool, we kind of just embrace that and, uh, and we t tailor all the the riffs and kind of the vocals to fit that. Just what can be catchy and what can hit really hard. Um, and if that comes from a bunch of different genres and a bunch of different styles, like we're all about it. We're not, we're not really limiting ourselves there. So uh, it's a lot of fun to write and uh, yeah, combine those things. So I definitely respect that. I, I hate it when people have like one genre that they're into and that's it. Like, you know, when it's good music, it's like a mixture of everything a little bit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I like only one genre. Yeah. <laughs> he does. He does. Almost. He, he's not even lying. He almost no, does. You know he, he, well, you didn't look to the left. You didn't go like this, so we're, we're good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when when Sebastian looks up to the left when he says something, it's a total bullshit lie. Just, <laughs> just heads up. Just heads up. But Sebastian is very. He he loves his punk. I mean, you can't get him away from his punk. If his, it has punk in it. He's he's gonna it'll it'll be the best song in the world to him. It could be like the nastiest thrash punk you've ever heard that is never gonna see the likes of radio at all. And he's like, oh, the best dude, this, shit, man. That's the, the this best is shit. 
Yeah, and it's like, and then you you uh, you put out like a like a hard rock a tray you song or something like that, and he's like, eh, it's all right, it's okay. All right, so uh, just real quick, yeah, uh, just real quick. Um, uh, Sharon says yes, uh, super packed, uh, super packed picnic. Yes, uh, yes. Hello, Sharon. We weren't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention because I was sharing. Uh, Blind melon. Uh, I don't think oh, I don't know where she gets that. How the show goes fast. Um, sound salad. This is all our <laughs> wonderful um, Sharon oh, Will Dollar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. God only God only knows what she says half the times. And then uh, Casey. Uh, hey guys, you all are awesome. I need to know when you all are coming to Louisiana. So when are you guys going to Louisiana? Yeah. For Casey. Yeah, for that one guy that's not going to show up when you do show up there. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll come for we'll, we'll, we'll be there for you, Casey. Um, mm-hmm. Hopefully soon, man. Um, schedules are crazy right now, but hopefully we can get some of our life sorted out a little bit and uh, really get going on shows and, you know, get out there and He's- playing for people. He says he has. Sorry, tomorrow, man. He's got drink. And crawfish. <laughs> when was your guys' last better show? Than the crawfish that we get in the water up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to know when your last show was? Who? Uh, is that two Saturdays ago? Oh, so uh, we've been doing some okay. shows recently. Um, we did. Uh, yeah, um, we've been. So we did an Indiegogo campaign for our uh, debut album, and one of the packages was to have us come play a private show wherever. Um, so we've been uh, doing a couple of those uh, acoustic shows. So it's been a good, good time. Um, really excited to uh, plug our instruments into uh, some speakers and blow them out soon here. But you know, hopefully that'll be coming soon. How did you guys come up with the name Weekend Picnic? Were you like yeah. at a picnic and then decided and then decided, oh, it was a weekend and you were at a picnic with the whole band. You guys are sitting there with your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and thought this would be a really good name for a band. Let's do Weekend Picnic. What can't they What can't they take from us, copyright wise? No, you go ahead, Ben. <laughs> I'll just raise my hand because I I took the spot of the guy that came up with the name. So okay. the person that <laughs> came up with the name is not in the band anymore. <laughs> oh, you kept the you kept you kept it going anyway. So was there a reason for that name? Like was it just like an idea that just out of the blue? Do you even know the reason? I think he just said he had a dream about the name <laughs> or something. Yeah, he had a it dream. Have... <laughs> it was a nightmare because he wasn't in it anymore. <laughs> yeah, Did you make no, up your own reason? anything. Did you but make up your own ran reason? With it and now our, <laughs> You know, our album cover is a picnic table on fire, so. Yeah. Um, I guess that's just what happens on our, our weekend picnics. <laughs> all right, so I was, we were all sitting there one day, and we are like, what's everyone's favorite day of the week? It's not a day, it's the whole weekend. So we got weekend, right. and then uh, just going down the alphabet, and we found, we landed on P, and uh, we picked picked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just well, made that I, up right now. Did you see me look up to the left? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's I was gonna say. He looked up to the left. He's lying. He's lying. Body language. But you know, the good thing is, is we just uh, right before the before we started, they were called Weekend Panic. So we're 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 lucky that we were able to correct that because apparently Hooked on Phonics does not work for me, and um, and 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 I messed up. Uh, I was rushing through it this morning when I put it all out there. So. Um, I'm I'm too busy booking bands right now. It's crazy. <laughs> does that happen? Does that happen a lot with the uh, with people confusing weekend picnic for weekend panic? Just because I, I think it would be because it kind of rolls, both of them kind of roll off the tongue the same. You know, is that pretty common? I've never seen it. Yeah, we've got <laughs> just once here. If you yeah, see was, like uh, here and take. Oh, go ahead. Okay. If you oh, see, I don't know if you can see in the background of my. I see that. I did that. Super cool. The uh, there's no A there. It's you know <laughs> so there's goes there. Every so I don't know. Do you, is that, is that, 
is that is that another, <laughs> is that another way um, to that the band goes by is the abbreviations of weekend picnic? Yeah, there's a lot of letters in weekend picnic, so we just kind of went with the shortened version, and it I think it just kind of looks sweet. So, okay. <laughs> so we should have put. Logo. I, I just wish you guys would label that on on your guys' stuff, so I would have put that on there. So. No, 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 but no, because their Facebook page does have Weekend Picnic, and their YouTube also has Weekend Picnic like this. But I did see that abbreviated version. I think it was at the end of uh, uh, Suffer the Silence, maybe. I think at the very end of the video, you have the abbreviated yeah. version of... Uh, so, okay, so let's talk about that song, Suffer the Silence. The music video came out, I believe, in February. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty, yep. pretty, pretty. You did your research there, buddy. You, did your research there. <laughs> you guys got to give him props because he usually fucks that up right from the <laughs> yeah. he, does, he doesn't remember when shit comes out. He just says, This is the top one. Okay, this is the one we're going to use right here. <laughs> yeah. no, I usually go through that. I usually tr do try to go through the dates and and see it. And was this, was this song part of a larger EP that you guys uh, came out with? Yep. So this nope. is actually our first uh, sorry <laughs> single that we uh, sorry I don't know if I interrupted someone. Yeah, it was our first big single that we released. I guess like last summer. Is that right? No, it was in February. Yeah, July. Well, yeah, the uh, music video <laughs> came out after. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Maybe this has something to do with it. Sharon says, uh, "Drunk Mondays." LOL. LOL. <laughs> um, no, no one's drunk here except for maybe Sebastian. I'm not and drunk. He's not, and he's not <laughs> drunk yet. Yet. <laughs> Night's still young. He works. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ava, Ava knows. Ava knows those nights. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's usually Friday. Friday nights. Uh, about <laughs> Friday to Saturday nights. Saturday yeah, nights. Yeah, you gotta be. Might be getting a phone call for a minute. People know that that know me. Come on. Come on. So, uh, All right. You wanna play the song? Yes. All right, let's check it out. Here we go right now. This is Suffer the Silence. <laughs> 